That's what you do a man like Joe Frazier. <laughs> Back off of it and just keep boxing. So, there's no way in the world from a man that don't have no footwork to catch me. Even a will to wait. Keep your camera moving because I'm kind of fast. Keep your camera moving. Uh, lightweight's not this fast. Plus, I'm talking to him. I'm making him frustrated. Come on, Chum. You're not no champ. Look at you. You're losing. You lost three rounds already. Come on, now. I'll hit you four times. one time. They say, spat. Look at me now. Don't tell me that ain't a perfect specimen of a man. <laughs> Look at that body. Slim, trim, and on my toes. Oh, I'm on my toes now. Are you still as fast as you were? I'm not as fast as I were. Man, I'm so fast, last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. <laughs> See, it was just a, a grimy working place. What you needed to be in the Vestry Gym was talent to be there, ambition to be somebody, ambition to pay the price, to work hard as hell to be there, and the desire to learn from champions, because when you went there, go with the champions. If somebody said, round one, they need a middleweight. So he wanted to be a fighter. He was in, just walking in the gym. He would light it up. He was that kind of young man. How do you feel today? Pretty good. How you doing? I hear you met Don Juan today. How was he? Yeah. He wasn't too friendly. What do you have to say? He didn't even shake my hand. What are you going to do about that? Now you must fall. <laughs> it used to be easy uh, talking and saying, I am the greatest campaigner for the title. Now I am here and everybody else is trying to take my title, such as this fellow named Henry Cooper in London and uh, all of these fellows are trying to get my title now. And it's no longer fun getting up every morning early to run and training every day. It's getting to be a grind and a job, but it pays off if you're in condition and if you can keep winning. I have so much on my mind as you have been reading, all type of little problems, you know, alimony and matrimony and divorce and uh, draft board problems, and uh, it didn't really get me down, but uh, I just 
just taking a little time to uh, forget about it. So play works out his hate. For him, perhaps, the punch ball symbolizes all those who seem to conspire against him, those who demand tax and alimony, the public who sneer at his Muslim faith, the draft board that wants to send him to Vietnam. The big question to be answered, can this man shake off three and a half years of inactivity? He knows he will be going against a relentless three-minute punching machine in champion Joe Fraser. Young man. 